Hello, my beautiful friends and all you poetry lovers. I am Urna Bose and today I will be reading some poetry which I am hoping will bring some solace to our grey-flecked hearts during the darkness of this pandemic. But before I begin, a very big thank you to Arindam Roy sir, to Onumita Roy and of course to Different Roots for giving me this absolute honour. Now today I will be reading a poet who is like no other. A postgraduate in geology, a geoscientist by profession, as well as an acclaimed bilingual poet, a stalwart writer, editor, critic and translator. Yes, I'm talking about Gopal Lahiri and um, I'll be reading a poem from his latest book, The Alleys Are Filled With Future Alphabets. And uh, the poem is called The Other Eye. The Other Eye by Gopal Lahiri. I am in search of the other eye. Memories swirl, unspoken membranes pierced. Wounds come from the same source. Happiness takes a plunge. Power denies, moves with me like shadow. I can feel but can never touch. The words sink in the quietness. No roles to take, no games to play. Colors alluring strokes of the brush. Light spillages, sound mutes, whisper dies, shadows lengthen. You are here, but far beyond, real and more real. I'll read the last few lines of the poem out for you guys once again. I can feel but can never touch. The words sink in the quietness. No roles to take, no games to play. Colors alluring, strokes of the brush, light spillages, sound mutes, whisper dies, shadows lengthen. You are here, but far beyond, real and more real. Gopal Lahiri's voice in this poem is inquiring, searching and seeking. So beautiful, isn't it? Well, thank you so much, dear Gopal sir. It has been a pleasure and a colossal honor reading your poetry as always. Also, a very big thank you to each and every one of you for being with us here today. Please take good care of yourself and here's to hoping the world heals soon. Bye-bye.